In the previous tutorial, we've learned how to make synchronous AJAX requests. But AJAX requests are supposed to be asynchronous by nature, which means that they should run in the background independently of other events. Otherwise, they would be called synchronous requests. And the language would probably be called SJAX. There is an event handler that we are interested in. And it's very, very important for a synchronous request called on ready state change. And the browser's Ajax API maintains a property called ready state. Ready state has a number indicating how far along the request has progressed. For example, if the value is zero, then the request hasn't been sent yet. Once the value of that property reaches four, then the operation of sending and receiving the requests has been completed. We can make our request asynchronous by changing the third parameter of the open function to true, but by default it's true. Now we can insert an event handler on ready state change that fires a function at every state change of XHR object. If ready state less than 4, then we fill element that has an ID div1 with loading string so the user will be patiently wait for the result. Once the server response is completed, which means ready state has the value of 4, an HTTP status is success, which means status has the value 200. If yes, it means the request has been successful, and div1 fails with the content from the server.